In this video, we're going to use StackCrunch to make what's called a Pareto chart. So as you can see, I've already typed in the names of the musicians and the votes. So we have Kesha, Prince, Garth Brooks, LL Cool J, and Lady Gaga. And these are the number of votes we had from a recent survey. So to make a Pareto chart, you want to go up here to where it says graph. So I'm going to go ahead and click on graph. And you want to go to bar plot. And then you want to select with summary. And then you left click on that. It says categories in. Well, our categories are the musicians. And then it says counts in. Well, the counts are the votes. And then the most important thing is down here, order by. I've typed everything in out of order. For example, Kesha is the most popular, but Lady Gaga is number two, and I've put her at the bottom. So I want to order by count descending. In a Pareto chart, you want the bars to start big and get small. So count descending. And then I guess we can give it a title. So these are the best musicians in the history of the world. And then you click compute. And there is our Pareto chart. It's kind of hard to see. Let me try to make it big and see what happens. There we go. The best musicians in the history of the world. So you can see right away the most popular person here is Kesha. Then we have Lady Gaga, then Prince, then Garth Brooks, and then, unfortunately, LL Cool J. So to do it one more time, you go to Graph, Bar Plot, with Summary. You select your musicians. Those are the categories. You select the votes. Those are the counts. And you want to order by count descending. Really important. Then you click Compute. And there is your Pareto chart. I hope that made sense.